Hello, today I'm going to show you how the F-16's air-to-air radar modes work. The F-16 can track targets within plus of minus 60 degrees of elevation and plus of minus 60 degrees from side to side. This is from the jet's nose. And of course it's not scanning this entire volume of airspace all at the same time. You can point its beam and search that portion of sky within its physical limit. The F-16 uses two master radar modes. The beyond visual range and the within visual range. Now let's go to your left MFD, which is right there, and let's take a look at the master modes and sub modes. We have your fire control radar engaged, but if it's not, just click on it. If this screen was displayed, you just double click it again. Now in the corner you see you CRM or combined radar mode and your RWS range while in search sub mode this is the default screen so you should find your radar on this screen when you come in now if you click on your combined radar mode button it will take you to a different option which is here the within visual range mode so once again, CRM, Beyond, Visual Range, and ACM, Air Combat Mode, Within Visual Range. You can engage it and cycle through it by clicking this button or by clicking F1. And you can see all the sub-modes that we'll talk about them later. Now we're back to the Master Mode. And let's see how the other MFD works. Now you can see here on your right MFD, it's currently displaying your radar beaming on a 60 degree angle. And you can tell by these two blue lines. Let's go back to the middle so we can talk about this radar master mode and how the radar actually works. The F-16 radar presents its data in a B-scope format. Here's how it works. This jet has four targets within its search area, which is inside the blue lines. Anything outside these blue lines is not registered by the radar. Those X's are examples of targets that you're not able to see. And of course, they're not displayed on your aircraft radar. So you can understand better. Let's put that graphic on top of the actual radar. Now let's take a closer look to your MFDs. Let's go to the left. Try to understand a little bit better all these little cues and buttons. So here you can see the small T moving back and forth that represent the limit of area or airspace that your radar is scanning at this time. Right now it's scanning a 60 degree angle. So that's the maximum amount of sky that you can scan on this radar. If you want to make it smaller, that should be the limits, should be these two blue bars and you see the T only moving back and forth in between those. You can make it even smaller, 10 degree scan, and it will be faster, and it will scan a lot faster. But just remember, it will be between those two. It will only scan this space in between the bars. 60. 30, 10. 
Now let's make it bigger again. Now we're scanning on a 60 degree and we have one bar right here. So we're gonna go to a two bar scan and it will not represent that there. But you will notice it will take longer for the T to get from one side to the other. And if you go to four, it will take it a little bit longer to make the whole sweep and scan that specific part of sky that you wanted to scan it. These are the three different scan options. The one bar option will scan straight back and forth. The two bar option will sweep one way then step up a few degrees and sweep back to the other way. And the fourth bar option will step up four times after each sweep. And your bar scan is not showing. Right now I have it at four, one, two, and going back to four. Also here you see your range knob. You can increase the range of scanning by 80 or 160. You go back to 80, 40, or 20, or even 10. Now I want to show you how your right MFD will behave when you're making those changes. Right now, that is your plane, and we have a 60 degree bar scan and I'm gonna make it 40 and that's what you're playing scanning right now with your cursor you can move that area that you want to scan when it goes to the limit and you can take it back and forth based on what AWOX is telling you to scan they will tell you the range and altitude of the possible target and you will point your beam or your aircraft nose to that particular area and scan it for any possible target. This other T, the one on the left that I'm moving right now, is your antenna tilt elevation. This is the way you can increase or decrease the tilt of your antenna. That way you can look up planes that are above you between 60 37,000 feet or below you red numbers 24, 47 and the center which is right in front of your aircraft. So this is how you know where your antenna is pointing at. That way you can move it and set it up based once again on AWOX. Now let's take a look at your sub modes. The default sub mode is your RWS right there in the corner. This stands for range while in search. What you have to do is just point your jet at the enemy and lock on targets. The second one is LRS or long range scan. You can detect targets at long distances but it's pretty slow. Next is your VSR or velocity search and ranging will tell you how fast your enemy is closing up on you. And finally TWS track while in search. It can detect up to 16 targets.